Hi, I'm Rick, and today we're going to talk about the optional human machine interface, or HMI, for the real time automation controller family of products. The HMI provides the ability to view data and tags from the RTAC and also do controls from a remote location through the web interface. So, I'd like to concentrate on three main points of the HMI. First, that it is web based, so you don't need special software running on your PC, and you don't need to have special software in the substation. You can use a Chrome browser and view the HMI from anywhere that you have a network connection to the RTAC. It's also very secure, so you don't have to worry about somebody logging in and viewing data that they're not supposed to. All of the same account information that you have configured in the RTAC applies to the HMI account as well. The second thing that I want to point out in the RTAC HMI is that all of the diagrams are contained on the RTAC itself. So you don't have to load the RTAC diagrams to one PC, move them to another or to another. You can have a brand new PC, open up a Chrome browser, point to the RTAC, and through the web interface you can view those tags and also do controls. And the third item I want to point out is really the main point of the video is the Diagram Builder software. The Diagram Builder software is free to use. You can download it from the SEL website. The license for the HMI is actually contained on each RTAC, so you can have multiple people use the software for free. And it's very easy to use and it provides the ability to build these diagrams, load them in the RTAC, and customize them as you need to. So when you pull the SEL diagram software up, then you get this screen here, and this provides the ability to build the diagrams however you would like. Unlike a lot of other applications out there, you don't have to map the tags from the RTAC to the software. The tags are simply imported in, so it's completely integrated. So click on this import button. You can log into the RTAC, or you could log into the Accelerator RTAC database that's on your PC, and click on load tags. After you're done, the tags will be loaded, and you can see them in these tabs under the tag types that are listed. The tags also are located on this tab, and you can just drag these tabs over directly to the screen, and the tags, based on their type, will show up as an object here. So in this situation, it showed up as a analog value, and you can see it has a units, and all of the properties that are associated with this object that we've just placed here are located on the right-hand side here. So you can address the colors, the alarm values, the actual tag, you can change the tag value, and all of these things, even the font, whatever. As well, you can click on the Controls tab and design your diagram based on controls rather than tags. Some of the ones I want to point out are the image control. You can drag this image control over and point to any JPEG or bitmap that you have located on your PC and include that into the diagram. There's hyperlinks, group boxes, a bunch of things that we'll talk about in later videos. Here's some other ones specific to substations. So here's a breaker control, and I can drag that over. And again, after you drag that over, then you can click on the Properties tab, and you can view the properties, you can change the properties. After I've designed my diagram the way I want to, then I save it, and then I click on this Load button right here, and send the project to the RTAC. After I send the RTAC project, then it's ready to view and it's ready to use. So let's view the project that we just built. And this is the RTAC web interface. I just navigate using a Chrome browser. I log in with the proper credentials. And this is the overview right here that we just built. And you can see that I can send some controls. I can click on this breaker here. And the 751A is a bitmap image that I brought into my diagram project. And I can do controls to it. You can see it is tripped right now. And this indication shows it's open. I can click on close. And this is actually the RTAC doing the, the closing and sending the close to the 751A and receiving the feedback from the 751A and then displaying it on the HMI. And if I go back to my substation simulation image, you can see that it is closed. And down here I have a bunch of analog values that will be populated if I had actual currents and voltages connected. And that's pretty much it for the overview of the SEL RTAC HMI. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know here at SEL. Thanks.